I'd like to discuss Damien Eccles as a magician. Um, if you don't know who Damien Eccles is, you probably shouldn't be watching this video. Um, uh, he's pretty good. I mean, this... He's, uh, he's got it. You know, um... I'd like to clarify a couple of things, uh, just real quick. The thing about me is I'm pretty sure I'm a past life initiate. Which, you know, if you don't believe that, maybe you shouldn't be watching this video. Uh, I, I'm not much this lifetime. Like, part of my sport this lifetime has been to be as lazy as possible... And see what stuff just has the most slam bang uh, with the most laziness um, for me. I mean, I'm really, this lifetime, I'm just really so totally, I don't know how to explain it. Um, but at any rate, I wanted to say... Uh, Damien Eccles, within the uh, uh, within the system he's working on, uh, he's pretty real. Um, like I, you know, I I'm not a heavy metal fan, you know. So aesthetically, you know, he's like not my thing, you know. But man, I I'm actually liking his stuff. I, you know, if you. If you if you believe that spiritual paths are real and if you believe spiritual paths are real you better get off, uh, off your minor aesthetic differences bullshit I'm sure Damien Eccles knows that uh, yeah D Damien Eccles is for real so yeah the first thing I wanted to clarify is you know that I'm not claiming I'm all that and a cup of as far as my discipline this lifetime in fact uh, uh, quite the verse uh, I'm, I'm here to testify that you could be as lazy as me and still accomplish some really major stuff that will blow your mind um, uh, I like I considered my uh, my task at some point uh, this lifetime, I just decided my task spiritually this lifetime is to find out what is the bare minimum. What's the bare minimum needed to where you know that you are going up the spiral rather than down the spiral? Um, those sorts of questions have fascinated me for a long time this lifetime. And you got say, well, hey, yeah, that's probably because you ended up getting in trouble from just being so lazy at some point that you made an excuse and blah, 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 blah. But yeah, and again, you could turn around and say, well, the reason you did this and made the excuse or blah, blah, blah is because of uh, agreements you made about what you were going to do this lifetime before you were born. Uh, uh, and in fact, that is in fact what I think is the case. Um, uh, and the other thing is, is, hey, uh, a long time ago, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe a year ago, I, I, uh, let it be known that, uh, no, probably more like two years ago. I let it be known that I, that I had been recently looking into, uh, Charles Manson and I said, he's got it. Um, yeah, uh, spiritually speaking for what he's trying to, what he was trying to do, uh, Charles Manson was real. I mean, there is such a thing as people who are just totally fakesville in the realm of spirituality. And if you yourself are realsville in spirituality, you can spot people on totally different paths or if you're like me, and, and like I say, I think my main claim claim is that I am a past life adept. Um, 
And I make that claim because that's only the only thing that seems to make sense. There are certain things that I know that I just cannot figure out how I know. Um, and that's my main guess. Um, uh, by the way, I think I was Dr. Eric Byrne, a fairly famous guy, last lifetime. He wrote a book called uh, Games People Play. Yeah, um, so yeah, I'm kind of digging on Damien Eccles' stuff, um, like, you know, um, he's not a real bright boy, I don't think he thinks he is either, but yeah, he, he knows, he's been on the path long enough to know it's real, and it shows, uh, and you know, I'm pretty sure I'm right about that, I don't think he's faking anything particularly, um, you know, he just has some dudeski metal, metal dudeski crap going on that, you know, it's not gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, uh, it'll, it'll eventually be a problem for him, I'm sure. Um, uh, you know, uh, yeah, there's there's a lot of very real uh, spiritual teachers uh, on uh, uh, on uh, on on the internet. There really are, you know. But, but and like, how could that not be true? You know, everybody's getting on the internet. There's going to be a few people who know a few things, and the internet's good for everybody. Like, uh, you know, hey, hey. Hey, all you athe- neo atheists on on Google, man. Hey, uh, I hate to tell you this, but your technology is helping out people who know that spirit is real. Hey, sorry, sucks being you. I didn't do it. Find somebody else to blame. Uh. 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 Let's see. Uh, yeah. Uh, Jason Louv is good. Uh, and, and gets better and better and I mention that because I've heard some of his early stuff and I, 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 I he was a slime bucket at first he's gotten better I think he was a bit of a slime bucket in his, in his early stuff that, that you can, I think it's on YouTube somewhere of some of his early stuff. Uh, I don't know. You pick up Slime Bucket vibes? I pick up Slime Bucket vibes when he first started. Uh, uh, and, and it, like, makes sense of his overall vibe portrait that I pick up now. Oh, that's what that is. You used to be a Slime Bucket. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Well, everybody got to come from somewhere. It's it, it's all good. Um uh uh you know, full disclosure, right? You come from a journalist journalism background, don't you, Jason? Um hey, it's so tough to get your foot in the door. I I understand. It's all good. <laughs> Uh, what does a man got to do to be president or be known as a good magician on the uh, on the uh, on the internet these days, right? Um, <laughs> uh, and and uh, yeah, Damien Eccles and one more that mind magic guy. You know, he's he's a Capricorn uh, or has a lot of Capricorn in his. Uh, chart, but yeah, he knows his stuff, uh, he's good, he's real, he's got it to some degree, when I, oh, that was the thing I wanted to say, final thing I guess I kind of wanted to say, is that, uh, if I say somebody's got it, I don't mean they are the world's most perfected master who ever lived, they've totally crossed the bridge of Satori, but there is this certain minimal level where, like, somebody's real, and there are, if you know anything about spirituality, there are some people who just aren't even real. Okay, and you can spot them. <laughs> you know.
Uh, and, uh, uh, and oddly enough, even the ones that are unreal. Uh, this is something I just learned from Damien Eccles. Uh, somebody wrote a, a angel book and then went and turned back and be a Christian, undoubtedly because they were too shallow to be involved on the magical path or anything like it. Anything but stupid sheeple stuff. Uh... You know, you you can be a totally fake individual and still do something that's of value to people who are not on Team Sheeple. Uh, yeah, that's about all. I, uh, this is mostly about Damien Eccles. So I'm gonna. I think we're just gonna call this, even though it covers other things. Uh, Damien Eccles is somewhat for real. Thank you. Have a nice day.